what's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers i'm bar boss if you haven't hit the subscribe button go down below and hit it because every 500 subscribers we're having a raffle so i really don't have much of a video for you guys except for the valve cover we're gonna go ahead and install it and then after that i want to talk about what i'm gonna need to get this car started and then what i'm gonna need to get this car to make boost i went to the store and i bought this right here this is going to be mixed with my 5W30. It's a bunch of uh, break-in additives. And I'm supposed to add this whole thing, this whole container to my oil. So I am going to mix this with 5W30. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait 500 miles after I add this and my 5w30 then after 500 miles i am going to drain it i'm going to put new oil 5w30 again i'm going to let it run another 500 miles before this is going to be before we actually go into some crazy boost um during that break-in process i don't plan on going over 4500 on the rpms i'm going to keep everything nice and low we want my rings we want everything to break in we want the the clutch um the flywheel we want everything to break in so once we get this car back on the road that's what the plan is going to be just to cruise around for 500 miles swap out the oil examine the oil see if there's any damage or any any uh little chips anything in there then put the new oil drive it another 500 miles and then that's when we're gonna start making some some power and get a tune on it all right so for the valve cover I don't have any um, RTV to put around these areas on the inside of the cover so basically like in here you guys already know that you're supposed to put some right there all I have is this stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and send it with this stuff and see if it makes it stick enough where I don't get a leak out of these little edges so I'm gonna throw you guys on a quick time lapse I'm gonna install that and then we're gonna talk about what I need to get this car started So you guys saw me use that spray it got all over my fingers um this stuff i don't know if it's gonna work but this stuff is like uh let's say like like hairspray you spray a little bit of this stuff and it makes the whole surface really really tacky where the gasket creates a really good seal to each other i went ahead and i sprayed when i swapped out the camera i went ahead and i and i sprayed the inside of the valve cover on the other side just on the two ends and then I came over here to the head and I sprayed a little bit on here so I don't know if you guys can see like right right there a little bit of red a little bit of red overspray right here and I did the same thing on this side and then I went ahead and I sealed it on there so I'm hoping it's just enough where the RTV is not necessary if it leaks it's fine I'll take it back off and I'll get some RTV but for now, it should be fine. Um, when I put my head studs before, 
I did use some of this stuff. This is assembly lube. This is the same lube that I used when I put the engine together. So the whole head, the top of the head was completely coated with that stuff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just add this one through here. There's still a few drops in there. All right, so let's talk about what I need to get this engine started. So in order to get this engine started, I'm gonna need a battery, which I do not have. I'm gonna have to locate a battery, find it, bring it over, throw it in. Um, another thing that I'm gonna need is my fuel feed line that's going to go from here out i have not installed it not yet i'm only naming items that i need to get this engine to fire up um i'm gonna need oil i gotta go get some oil i'm gonna go get oil right now and transmission fluid which i'm gonna use the same 5w30 in there i'm not gonna get anything else but 5w30 that's what i've always done and that's what i'll continue doing so what do we need to get this engine to make some boost and for it to go down the road so in order to do that we're gonna have to get colder spark plugs um another thing that we gotta get is uh ecu we're gonna have to get an ecu and some injectors i was planning on getting a thousand cc's but i know that an ecu and some injectors is going to be pretty expensive so what i'm going to do only for the break-in process i'm going to bypass the injectors i'm going to bypass the ecu with an fmu and that's only going to be used to go up to 4500 you could probably go higher with that, but it's not reliable. So an FMU is what I'm going to use just to break in my engine. I have not bought it. I have not gotten it. So I'm going to have to get that pretty soon. And that's going to give me some time to save up for my ECU and for my injectors. We are also going to need a dump that's going to come out of here and curve up out of the hood I can't forget I'm gonna need radiator fluid of course we are gonna need some mirrors so I could be street legal and I think I might be able to get away without the back bumper because there is there is a brace back there if that brace wasn't there then I would get in trouble I would probably get pulled over but because of the fact that there's a brace back there that counts as the bumper that is the bumper actually because the bumper that goes on there it's just the bumper cover that covers that um and then i'm gonna have to debate should i get a driver's door or wait it out and get the roll cage if i want to get this on the road asap I'm gonna have to get a driver's door because if this thing goes down the road and I get hit on this side I'm toast I'm also gonna need some gauges I'm gonna need a gauge for my boost and I'm gonna need a gauge um, my wide band I forgot to mention I'm gonna need an intercooler with the piping and the blow-up valve in order to make some boost so what I'm thinking is that on my next video, um, I'm going to try to start this engine up. We are going to attempt 
to turn this car on and I'm pretty sure that it is gonna turn on but you know there's always that that one thing that tells you something's gonna go horribly wrong for some reason but it's always been like that for me whenever I put an engine together I know it's gonna start but I always have doubts <laughs> get these wires back in there all right so my wires are in and you guys can see that the housing on this is starting to get a little bit rusty this is the one that I did not paint this section right here you guys can see the rust that's starting to form on it so this is gonna be it you guys um, this was a short video uh, remember smash the subscribe button if you have not go down there and hit the like button and I will catch you guys on my next video the startup video till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later <laughs>